in the emergency center specifically, we deal with pre-hospital a lot. So not just the kangaroo crew, but you know HFD, other pre-hospital entities. And a lot of that communication is via cell phone. So they're calling the emergency room, they're talking to us. We basically were like, there's got to be a better way. There's got to be a way to improve the connectivity. You're going to first establish the connection to the server and to the hospital. We're Team Amblink. Our partners, Texas Children's Hospital and the Kangaroo Crew, have identified a need for a system that allows their transport team to speak with their dispatch teams on standby in their hospital en route with the transport with the patient. This the is what would again. actually exist for the transport team. Our system what it does is it allows for the those particular transport team members to be sitting in the back with the patient hands free so they can focus their full attention on the patient but also have the entire wealth of resources of the physicians at the hospital immediately at their disposal right here on their headset. All right, good. Sup, bud? Right. Yeah, of course. Awesome. This thing works. I just want to point that out. And so the concept is this, is that an EMT takes his headset and puts it on while they're working around in the ambulance. There are very few buttons that need to be pushed in order to stop and start audio. Due to the way that we've set up the data, it's very robust and it resists cell dropouts and other problems. And all in all, it's a very clear and powerful system that allows the EMT to focus on treating the patient. This ambulance hailed a base. We have left, left OEK and are in route to TCH. Roger that. What's your status, over? We may not act as well as we engineer, I hate to say it. <laughs> it's using three, but the, it can have as many as you want, as many connections as you can pay for. We are utilizing, also is streaming currently over all three modems. Hey, all three modems at once, that's fantastic. It will support all of those and use them all for transmitting the data. We want another video over here. Go ahead and send one out. <laughs> okay, the first part is going to be me. Then okay. it's a brief. That's fine. We'll settle. How to drive like a cool guy. It was something that was novel, but also something that was surprisingly practical, where they just use cellular feeds to give us a really good data flow so that we can get inf the right amount of information back and forth. Mm -hmm. Audio is now on. Yeah, so now and I'm talking to someone. Let's say yes. I'm not getting any feedback from the provider in the hospital. I want to get their attention. I basically hit the alert button. Mm -hmm. And it was really the human engineering that made it more powerful, where they took the things that we needed and engineered switches and buttons that simplified the whole process that we might not have gotten from a, a million dollar corporation that really might not be getting our input. They might have just built something purely from a technical standpoint and then given it to us with like 20 buttons for us to push to get the same solution on the other end.